Um, we're a bit frustrated we didn't win the game. Uh, first and foremost, I thought we uh, we had the the better chances. We you know we had the the opportunities to score. Uh, keepers made a good save. We missed a, a great chance. Uh, we were very strong defensively. Didn't um, allow any shots on target. So uh, ultimately, we want to win all our games as as often as possible. And we went with the intention of winning the other night, and we didn't manage to do that. But you know, going down to ten men. Um, and seeing out for the point, um, you know, we have to be happy with that from that point on. But um, no, we we saw that as a, a game to win, and we're disappointed we didn't. Has the frustration around that Liam Donnelly decision eased ever so slightly? Are you still rather angry? No, well, I don't look angry, do I? No, <laughs> it's, uh, inside, you know, no, no. Listen, I'm, I'm concentrating on tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's the the biggest thing for me. You know, a lot. I, I, I said. Um, how, how I felt, you know, and, and you, you can't um, you can't change or help how you feel. You know what I mean? It's, it's there. It's inside you, you know. And uh, you know, it's a passionate game, and um, I'm honest with my my opinions. Um, but you know, it's I'm, I'm concentrating on tomorrow now. That's that's the biggest thing for me is is the next game. But um, you know, we have to you know we we'll be without Liam um, for for tomorrow's game, um, and um, and we have to crack on. We've still got uh, enough good players to to carry on. In terms of the your own red card, was that? I mean, in terms of how referees determine that, I mean, we've all heard probably worse being said to referees and, and it go, you know, by the by. Yeah. Is that a frustration that, you know, it's not, it's not a you know a clear rule. It's sort of interpreted by each man, and you know, other weeks you can be fine for it, but all of a, all of a sudden now you're you're facing a. Yeah, well, uh, look, I don't I don't know what um, the. the Repercussions are, you know, um, I'm, I'm waiting to hear and, and spit. Uh, it'd be good to speak to to somebody about it if possible. Um, and yeah, I was shouting and I did swear. Um, pretty much shout and swear every game and every training session possibly. I see every other manager shouting and swearing. Uh, you know, not just in Scotland but all over the place. It's you know, I'm 50 years old. You know, I mean, I've sworn a lot over my life to be honest. <laughs> For a lot of years, you know, but look, I, 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 I believe that I try to stay within the boundaries. I don't, I don't ever accuse anybody of anything um, malicious. Um, I, I doubt if the ref could hear me from where he was. To be honest, um, that, that's the reality. But, um, but look, I, I, I always try to look at myself as well and how I can do things better. That, that's Im important. I think, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, there, there are. Their responsibilities as a manager or as a professional, but as a player, all that sort of thing. So I do look at that as well. But um, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't, I don't believe I crossed the line to to want a, a red card the other night. Um, that, that's I'm just being honest there. But um, you know, that's that's where we are. You know what I mean? It's uh, we we have to crack on. You know, life's not perfect, and and we crack on with tomorrow. I don't want to drag this on, but did you speak to Matthews? Did you get an explanation as to what? No, you I'm, I'm not allowed to. So oh, sorry, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Um, Hearts then, another huge game and this, this top, sort of top six battles really. It's, it's supposed to be nice for the manager that you are, you know, in and around and rubbing elbows with those. And yeah, so it, I think it, yeah, it's nice for the players, it's nice for the, the supporters. We, we want to, um, you know, uh, feel that we're a competitive club and, and we can compete with um, the opponents in, in the Premiership, you know. Um, uh, and we've done that over the course of this season so far, but there's a lot of games to go and a lot of points to be won. And um, you know, we we added on to our tally the other night. You know, even though we we're frustrated at, at, at not winning the game, um, we still added on to our tally, which was a, a, another positive step forward. And um, we have to try and do that again tomorrow. That's the the main focus for me every every game. But um, you know, I think we've been very competitive against all the teams this season, and we have to maintain that. You know, it's. Um, you know, we know how tough the division is. We know there's real good quality throughout, throughout you know, um, the levels of it. And uh, but I, I believe that we've contributed to a, a really competitive league this year, and um, in a good way. And uh, that, that's what we have to try and maintain. It's um, you know, there's challenges every week, and they're, they're really dif difficult ones. We've seen that. You know, even against Morton from the division below, it's um, it's a real competitive sport. It's a, you know, and Scottish football is in, I believe, in good health on that side of it. That it's, it's um, 
you know, there's obviously you, you get the big two, but there's a, a lot of um, competitiveness between everybody else. Um, nothing's just written in stone. So um, we just want to try and do our business on the pitch and, and maintain what we've done so far this season. And, and if we can, try and find the improvement that we need to make. Graham, I feel like I ask you this all the time, but you don't look at the league table too much, but is there any added incentive for the fact that you could close the gap on third in this game? Well, you ask me that every, every week, <laughs> and I give you the same answer every week, but you'll keep going until, um, and I'll only talk about the league table uh, when it's defined. And um, that, that's that's the the most important thing for for me. I, I, you know, like we we don't, you know, I never, I didn't after three games, I didn't after ten games, and, and I'm certainly not going to do now because it's it is irrelevant. It, you know, it, it is it's about winning as many points as possible, um, and then see where it goes. No one can give you a defined. Uh, number of points to finish in a certain position. You know, it varies from year to year. So we have to just keep our foot to the floor and win as many as we can. And as long as we get to the end of the season, we've done the um, and we believe we've done the best we possibly can. Then we'll be happy and content. But um, we're not at that stage yet. So it's um, it's no good me talking about that because you know. And, and I know you probably get the players to talk about it a little bit more often. Um, and that, that's okay, but um, you know I know where my focus is, and it's it's on the next game, it's on the next three points that are available for us to to compete for and fight for, and um, that that won't change. That won't change. I've been in the game long enough to to know that um, you got to look at your next step um, and make sure that's that's right and in the right direction. And that's what we're trying to do. What are you expecting from Hearts the team? We also just spoke to Stephen. He said that it's one of the most volatile atmospheres, and the players actually really look forward to that. Those tough away grounds. Yeah, I th I, I, the thing is, I, I, I go to uh, you know, I'm obviously new to Scotland, uh, Scottish uh, domestic football for the last year, and only this this season really with the supporters. And I think I think all the supporters are passionate behind their clubs. You know, we've we've been to uh, quite a few grounds this year, and, and they've all been good atmospheres and um, and volatile and, and passionate. And uh, but that's I think that's what's unique about um, not unique, sorry, but I think it's special about Scottish football and, and UK football. I think the the interaction from the supporters is always full on. Um, so uh, it, it is better. I think I think when we're when we're young kids, you know, we we play lots of games of football um, as, as young boys, um, and we always dream about playing in front of supporters. And in crowds and atmospheres and scoring goals and hearing the um, the raw the emotion of the, of the supporters and that and that's um, you know the game stays the same it's still a pitch one ball uh, two goals and twenty two players from the age of ten or whatever but once you get to the professional level it's supporters and crowds and that's what all players want to do so I think once you get there you can't be you know go backwards and be afraid of it I think you've got to actually go well this is where I wanted to be this is what I dreamt of when I was 10 years old so I think more players that feel like that and I do believe our players do respond well in those conditions and those environments and um, I think we have that environment here at Fur Park um, and we've responded great to that I think um, so you know I, I, I like my players to show that sort of uh, commitment and courage to to just play the game, regardless of you know the the atmosphere. Really. Okay, it was good to get a short run in, but Liam Shaw involved the other night. Is he feeling now ready to go after his week? Yeah, I think um, not. Liam came to us um, fit and, and ready to play, but you know we've been playing well, and it's and the players that have been in the team we've been playing well. Um, so you know we we make it clear to everyone who, who joins, whether it's permanent or loan, that you know. We always have competition, and and we believe in uh, a merit-based um, sort of environment where it's your performances that that keep you in the team and results, obviously. And uh, I think the team's done very well. But we know we've got more. You know, Liam Shaw is one of many good players that are competing to try and get in the team. So, um, but it was important for Liam to see how we how we train, how we play, how we you know uh, we go about our business. You know, um, before throwing him in at the deep end, I think. Um, you know, I think we play in a certain way, uh, and I think it's important that every player understands their role in that um, that, that sort of uh, profile. And um, once they do, and, and they get the, the tactical side of it, then it gives them a better chance of staying in the team. So um, yeah, it was it was good to you know get him on the pitch because he's been desperate to do that. He's trained exceptionally well, but you know I think he's come into a group that's very competitive and and they're all motivated to play in the team, which is um, is great for me. You know it's what we're trying to create. I think we've got a, a, a great um, 
sort of atmosphere in the changing room where they understand that if, if they're not playing, there's a good player in front of them. You know, there's no disrespect there, which is important to me and I think for the team um, that um, they know that, that they're up against it to get in the team first and foremost. But to compete to get in our team, then you coming in with a competitive edge because we have to compete um, as hard as we can to win games. You spoke about um, the defensive side, obviously signed up another player earlier on in the week. But has Jake Carroll given you a bit of a, a, a good solution to that issue with the central defence, the, the yeah. injuries he's got? He's gained it very well. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I thought I thought he was excellent. I thought, um, you know, the, the the team was good. I thought the back four were excellent. I thought uh, Jake and Nathan that uh, played their their best games for for us. To be fair, I thought they were, they were superb on that left hand side. And um, you know, but it was difficult to pick out those individuals. But it was good for, for us to understand Jake's capabilities of playing in, in the middle. Um, of, of the the back four because um, he'd obviously only played for us at, at left back, um, but uh, we had played him in one um, in some bounce games um, previous. To just, I, I like to see players' adaptability and see if they can um, help us in other positions. But I thought he um, he played exceptionally well. He was he was very comfortable there. I thought. Uh, he fits the profile of what we we need in our centre half positions, and um, he's, he's very good on the ball as well. So um, delighted with him, yeah, and, he, and he's deserved it. He's one of those that group that's been frustrated and not being in the team, but never let it affect his training uh, capabilities, his, his approach. He's always been uh, brilliant with the other players, um, but we knew he was ready. You know that that's the biggest thing. You know it, it wasn't fluctuating from one week to the next when he thought he might be in the team or not. He's just kept his standard high the whole time, and that's why he can step into the team and play as well as he can. Because it's not just happened in the last week; it's been happening for a couple of months, and it's just a you know a steady uh, stride into the team and, and keep his performance. So he was um, yeah, he was very good. How's your squad looking? Anybody close to coming back? Um, um, we're, we're looking at Bevis today, so Bevis will, will train today, so we'll, we'll see how he is. Um, so that's that. That's good for us, um, and I think that is it. Actually, I think from additions that are coming back from injury. Um, so uh, I think Mark Ara, uh, Ricky Lamy, uh, still injured, um, but obviously we'll be without Liam Donnelly because of suspension. Going back to tomorrow's game, the last time you were at Tenkash, we didn't feel it was a two nothing game. Was that something that still annoys you? No, no. That, I don't even know the date of that game. It was, <laughs> it was quite a while ago. Uh, so, and, and we played them since. So, um, no, look, it was, uh, it was it was a game we, that we competed very well in. I thought we we lost a, a cheap early goal, which put us on the back foot. But I thought we recovered well from that, and we certainly had a load of uh, good chances to score and, and get back in the game. But that um, no, was too too far back in the day for that so for me to focus on it for to, for tomorrow. I think um, we played them since, and um, we played a lot of games in between, and. Um, yeah, we go there fully fresh and, and, and ready to compete. Local fans are rating top for you. How important is it for Motherwell to silence them? No, I don't, I don't think uh, I don't think you can go. And I, th I think you, that's like I said. I think you've just got to try and focus on what you've got to do to win the game. Uh, you know, I think it's great to have that as a backdrop, that atmosphere and that, that sort of um, that noise. But for, for me, the, the, the best players and the best teams just uh, cut that out and just um, concentrate on what we have to do to win the game. And uh, if we do that, we give ourselves the best chance. But we, we're looking forward to it.